Now to an alarming trend affecting communities all over America. There's new data that shows violence, specifically violence among children, is soaring nationwide. According to uh, latest statistics, homicides committed by juveniles acting alone rose 30 percent in the year 2020. Those committed by multiple juveniles increased more than 65 percent. The number of killings committed by people under the age of 14 was the highest in two decades. And Pastor Corey Brooks is joining me live in studio right now. He's the founding and senior pastor of New Beginnings Church here in Chicago and the founder and CEO of Project Hood. Yes. H-O-O-D, what does that stand for? Helping others obtain destiny. Oh, I love right. that. Yeah. Because really, people's destiny is at stake. It's not just their livelihood. It's not just their future, but their, I mean, their existence. Absolutely. You know, we're living in a day and a time where, um, you know, the children are running rampant and unharnessed. There's a lot of wickedness, unfortunately. And we have to do everything that we can to get the, the, uh, our children stabilized, to get them in environments of peace uh, so they can continue to move forward. You know, it's interesting because you see projects and programs where uh, children are equipped with uh, lessons on, you know, a giving back. Uh, yes. They are given, you know, clothes and shoes and backpacks and school supplies. But it seems as though no matter what we throw at programs like these, there's a missing element. What do you believe is that missing piece? Well, one, spirituality. Um, we have to get people um, back to God. That's the first and foremost. And then secondly, um, children are in need of mentors, especially those who come from single parent households like most of the kids in our neighborhood. 80% of the kids in our neighborhood are from single parent households. It's imperative uh, that they have mentors in their lives to help them be guided, to help them have direction, to help them be on the right track. I, I talk to people all the time. I've met a number of people. I was raised by a single parent, Me seven too. kids. Okay, yeah, we have something in common. Uh, but I found, and I've seen, and, and I want to hear your take on this, is that you can equip someone, you can raise them up, you can give them a shot, but there might just be one fatal flaw, one Achilles heel in their success because of maybe their childhood experiences, yes. wanting to belong, yes. uh, having insecurity, having Absolutely. a bad temper. Absolutely. What do we do to prepare parents and the community for some of those issues that might be overlooked? Unfortunately, there are not a lot of programs that help parents to become better parents, help parents to navigate their way through a society that has so many problems. So we have to create programs, we have to get cre continue to make opportunities, create options, um, make sure that we come alongside parents who are having a tough time raising children all by themselves. I think oftentimes we forget all about these single parents who need a lot of help and uh, we just cast them to the side. But we have to do a better job, whether it's the church, the school, or not-for-profits. All of us have to team up and, and do all the things that we can to make life better. What are you doing with your uh, hood initiative? I want to make sure that I say it right. Yeah, so right now we're building a, a 89,000 square foot facility, $35 million. Wow. We raised, yeah, we raised $28 million dollars in one year um, oh toward that effort. Our goal is to do it debt free. And it's all about solving these issues that we're talking about, whether it's children who are dealing with social issues or parents who are needing assistance or guys who are in gangs or females who are in gangs who need guidance and direction. Yeah. So we're doing everything we can on the south side of Chicago to create an example and a model for what can be done across America. And what will happen inside of that beautiful facility? So I'm glad you asked. So one, uh, we have an entrepreneurial school. We have a trade school. Um, we have um, four restaurants because there's such a lack of restaurants in our neighborhood. We have a music and arts theater, uh, a video uh, wow. video theater as well. And um, the kids are excited that we're building an Olympic-sized swimming pool, so I got to throw wow. that in there. I mean, you know it's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. got to have some fun, too, absolutely, while you're learning. Absolutely. With a lot of counseling services and wraparound services that a community needs in order to be transformed. Okay. Well, we're looking forward and excited to seeing that get built. Thank Congratulations. Absolutely. Thank you so what much. What a wonderful effort. And again, uh, Pastor Corey, a uh, part of New Beginnings Church of Chicago and founder and CEO of Project Hood. Where can they go to find out more about Project Hood? They can Hood? go to projecthood.org, projecthood.org. Okay, wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you again for joining us. Thank you. Us. I appreciate it. It really takes a holistic approach uh, to address the needs of our young people today. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.